Good morning, everyone. It's me again in my studio, in my PJs. I had a little dilemma the other day. I was working on a scrapbook page, and I could not find a chainsaw cut anywhere. So I was working on these pictures. My husband's working in the backyard, cutting down some trees. There's our, our dog, Lulu, his faithful companion. That dog follows him everywhere. I wanted to have a chainsaw cut to go on this page. I looked everywhere. The Cricut stickers, I didn't find anything I liked, and I couldn't find any cuts on the Cricut at all, though I love, love, love my Cricuts. Um, the only saw they had was a handsaw. So, I decided to create a chainsaw with punches. And this is what I came up with. And today I want to show you how to make this. It's very simple, and it adds so much to this page. I just love it. First, you're going to need a piece of orange cardstock, and it measures about an inch and three quarters wide. And then you'll need a piece of black, and it measures an inch and a half wide. And we're going to punch out this label using the label punch. We're going to punch out this little medallion. I call it a medallion. It kind of looks like the Briggs and Stratton emblem, which is on uh, some lawnmowers and different items that you work in the tool, the yard with. But first, we're going to punch this out with orange, or you can use any color you want. I mean, it doesn't have to be orange. I'm just going to punch this out. and put it aside and then this first orange piece here like I said it measures an inch and three quarters but I'm going to mark it at three inches and two inches and I'm just going to cut with my scissors you can use your um, trimmer or anything else. But I'm just going to cut it with my scissors at an angle and that will give me this angle base. And then I'm going to use the corner rounder and just round off these corners on the straight side. Okay, now I'm going to lay the black piece on top. First I'm going to round the corners on the straight side. And I'm just going to eyeball it and mark it so it will have a oh what's the word so it will have a frame of orange around it like that so let's adhere that with some tape runner center it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is handmade after all. So there's my base. Now I wanted this medallion or label to stand up just a little bit. Give it a little bit of dimension. You don't want a whole lot, especially if you're going to use it on a scrapbook page going inside of a book. Let's just peel this off and center it on the black. And there you go. You have the motor part of your chainsaw. Okay, now we need to do the blade. The blade itself measures three and three quarters inches. I rounded the corners again on one side, and that will make the end of the chainsaw. Now, to get these sharp points on the chainsaw, you can use any punch border punch that you would like to get a sharp point but I love this fence from Martha Stewart it looked like a chainsaw to me because a lot of the chainsaws have these sharp points so I just simply used a darker gray and punched along the edge of a piece of paper lining it up as I went until I got a piece that I thought would measure all the way around that blade. 
and I went along the side of an eight and a half sheet of paper and it went all the way around. So here's my piece of punch that I've already cut out. A piece of paper that I've punched, I should say. And to make it go around this circle end, around the curved end, you need to give it a little divot so the, the paper has a little give to it. First I'm going to trim off a lot of this excess. We do not need all this. Okay, and then I'm going to find, sort of find the center because I want one of these points to be right in the center of that edge, the top edge. So I think that's close enough. And I'm going to take my pinking shears to just kind of divot out that center section. This will allow the paper to give when you try to make that curve without tearing the paper. Just like that. You can also clip it. I mean, you just take your scissors and just clip, clip, clip. Snip it all on the edge. You can also cut out little triangles if you wish. Just like that. But I found the pinky shears works just fine. Take your blade and I'm going to add adhesive all the way around the back side. And I'm starting in the middle. And I'm going to lay that center point right on that edge. Just like that. Now, in order to make it turn, I'm going to have to crunch up the paper and push it and maneuver it, mangle it a little bit actually, to make it turn that corner. But since you've snipped it, it makes it a lot easier to do. Just like that. You just have to flatten it out a little bit. Do the other side. Push it in and kind of pleat it on the back a little bit so it will make that corner. That little turn. And just line it up and you have your chainsaw blade. If you don't like the way it looks, just keep messing with it and sticking it down and crunching it up. See the back is kind of pleated up and mangled a little bit, but from the front, it doesn't look too bad. Now I just trim off the excess. And adhere it to the base. Put a little adhesive on the slant side and just kind of make it straight. You don't want a crooked chainsaw. There you go. There's the base of the chainsaw. Now we need handles. Can't run a chainsaw without handles. So with this little piece of black, I need to make this first little curved handle. And I need to make a frame using two oval punches. First punch with a smallest oval right in the center. And if you use the next size up, center it and you'll see a nice little frame right in the middle of paper and punch. And there you have something that looks like a handle. Okay, I want it to kind of go at an angle and overlap this orange piece right there. So I have to snip it. And I'm just going to cut off at an angle like that. And just cut. Snip off that bottom section at an angle. Okay. Now I want it to lean. I want this piece to go under here and that piece to go under the orange and this to go under the black. 
So I'm going to use a little liquid adhesive. Just put a little on both ends that you cut. And just kind of stick it in there. As far as you want, or as little as you want, till you get the handle to look the way you want it. Good thing about clear adhesive, it will dry clear. And there's your first handle. Now we need the back handle, because you can't run a chainsaw with one handle. So you need a scrap of the base color, which was orange. And I'm first going to, again, make a frame. And with my Creative Memories Square Punch, use the smallest end first, and then push it down, and you'll see there's a nice little frame right there. So I'm going to punch that out. And there's my handle. No need to cut this one. You just kind of put some adhesive on the back. Or I should say the front. On one end. And then place it on the back of your chainsaw. And there you go. You have a chainsaw to go on a page. A manly page. For any scrapbooking, card making. Any man would love this. Now the back's kind of messy, but once you glue it down, no one's going to see that. But I wanted to make a few of these to give away as gifts or um, to my scrapbooking group maybe, if they would like. So I took a scrap piece of paper and just made the strip a little bit more narrow than the blade itself, rounded the corners, and then adhered it to the back. And I also did it in red. So we have orange and red. You can make it any color you want. My husband's chainsaw just happens to be orange. And I hope you enjoyed this. And play with your punches. You never know what you might come up with. See ya.